Payday 3 got updated. They have a whole new UI and everything. Oh my god, I'm so like excited. I saw someone stream and they were having a lot of lag issues. Oh my god. I love this. And then like when people are showing, they actually show them here. That's so cool. But I love the background, like it's so much better than it was. God, this looks so good. I wanna look at all these. And we'll have the DLC. And I heard this gets updated instantly. Oh, it does. You don't have to back out. Oh, game of the year. Why do I not have Houston? I gotta look at that. Look at all the mess I have. I got some um, of the Twitch ones. Like, I got this one. I'm a fan of the chin. Like, just the uh, kind of the meat mess. So I get the uh, Twitch drops and stuff, and like he couldn't even play because it was lagging. So that's kind of worrisome. Uh, no one else, like I watched a few others, and they weren't having issues. So I wonder if it's just his stuff. But he tried it on every system and couldn't get it to work on anything. Like like it was working, it just every like few seconds it would be lagging and stuff. Just, it would like stun it. Pretty weird. Oh, these are all the masks I have. I don't know what my favorite mask is. I kind of like the, the shark. Um, so we're going to test it out and see how the game is. I want to try some of these new guys. Arrow the Viper was really good. Yeah, I still don't. I hope they change this eventually to have numbers. Because like in Payday 2, I think they had numbers and it just makes it easier for me to like understand. It says minus horizontal recoil, um, vertical gun kick, and vertical recoil increase. Well, decreases or whatever. Um, but, like, it would be nice to just have numbers, like, how much it increases and decreases, instead of just, like, that. We're just gonna do solo, just to, like, test things. Oh, yeah, I find that. Oh, it's so good. I like how there's actually, like, locations for all these. I'm excited for when um, we go to different areas besides New York. Um, then we can like probably switch the map and go to like, I don't know, somewhere else. That'd be kind of cool. Fear and greed. I haven't found that. better than uh, when it first came out. Because there's so many issues when it first came out. And now we're here one. All right, gang. I'm picking up security chatter about a disturbance on the roof. That'd be us. Deal with the say, guards however you need to. Us. Don't be a baby. Jump. Let's get started. Turn off power to one of the elevator shafts. 
Then take your zip line down to the exchange. And yeah, I haven't seen it. And it was angles. Honest. James is down. How pretty it is, though. What? James died. Okay, he fell to his death. Um, that's All right, not people, great. Here come the cops. That's it!
temporary mission. Check on the DLC though, because I thought I had everything. Because I bought the gold edition, but I think they added a new DLC that I didn't purchase. I'm not sure. Ooh. I like how they show that. That's cool. Like they. I don't know. I like the. I really like this menu. And then, like, just all these menus are super great, like showing. Like, if you just get 15 for the heist, you do the stealth, a uh, loud modifier, and then all bags. So that's, that's really cool. And then, oh my god, there's like so much in here. 78 headshots. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this update. I don't see the issues that um, Troy was having, Red Archer Live. Um, but that might, again, it might just be like his area. I don't, I don't know if it's just his come or well, it was because he tried his Xbox, his PS5, and his uh, PC, and everything was like every like few seconds it would like stutter. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this update. Like this whole menu is so cool. Like when you get friends joining, they all stand around you. You have like four people standing here. Um, so much better than what it originally was. Like, the menu was so boring before, and now it actually looks... I love, I love the background, like, I don't know. I, I, it'd be cool if they, um, after certain times, they change it up so there's different backgrounds, or, like, we're on different rooftops, or, you know, during the day, or something like that. That'd be kind of cool, too. Um, yeah, that, this was super fun. Um, love being back in Payday. Payday's been one of my favorite games. Like, Payday 2, I have over a thousand hours in the game. And then I already have, like, a few hundred, I think, in Payday 3. Um, even with all of the challenges, they kind of uh, struggled with the beginning. It, it's just great to see Payday doing well. Because I just, I don't know, I love just this whole atmosphere, it's so fun. Um, yeah, that was, uh, just, like, about the update, because I highly recommend it. It's on sale right now, till November 6th, um, depending if you watch this, when, when you do. Um, it's, like, half off, and then, like, the... Uh, year one, which includes all the DLC from the first year, is $35.99 US dollars, um, which is totally worth it. Because I think I spent 90 or something like that. I forget how much it was for the gold edition when it first came out. Because um, I was super excited, and then with everything that happened, it kind of was a disappointment. But seeing everything get better and better as payday went on is so good like like the operation medic bag the uh boys in blue um like all of the dlc ice that were getting added and then like them adding like cook-off turbid station and then there's a couple new ones that were kind of like accidentally teased in the most recent video. Um, I think it's First World Bank and something else. I don't remember the other one. Oh, I think it was um, like a hold down thing, like like from Payday 2, I think. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. Uh, I would recommend this if you are considering getting Payday um, and just kind of been waiting to see when it gets good. I highly recommend it because everything looks so clean and like it's just a breath of fresh air having like this menu being different and the game actually being playable like 
online, like, yeah, some of the loading times are a little long. Like, when I got in game, I always struggle when I join lobbies. It takes me, I don't know if this was on hotel internet or what, but I usually sit there, everyone's already hitting the ready button over and over because they're wanting me to do it. But I don't have a ready button usually for like a good like two minutes. So I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, um, so that was Payday 3. Um, like I said, if you're a Payday fan, I highly recommend it. Um, especially with it being on sale and then you get all of the DLC. So you get like all of the masks like you get from the beginning. So you get like the, the Skull of Liberty, you get like this, you get this. You get all of the DLC masks that were in. Um, some of these are like Twitch drops and things like that. Um, I think this one was as well. Um, and a few others. I really don't remember. I think the big one was too. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this game because it, it's so cool to see um, Payday doing well. I feel like I, I hope it's not most people that are experiencing lag because I saw a few people complaining about it. But like I, I didn't notice any lag when I was playing. It, it seemed great. So, yeah, that was really fun. I'm definitely going to be playing more. I'm going to go buy the DLC that I don't own and be uploading more gameplay. Me stealthing some of these missions and playing with friends because a few of my friends are getting the game. And, um, yeah, we can see what this is like again. I, I want to go through all of the missions with them and like actually um, get like videos for each of the missions. That'd be really cool. That's something I kind of want to do solo as well, is like try and stealth every mission and then make like a whole playlist of them. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. That was uh, made it Thanks. I 